Welcome back to Global Business Africa. Now, Libya intercepted 117 Europe-bound migrants in a beach east of Tripoli on a Tuesday as the European Union offered incentives aimed at keeping migrants in their countries. The European Union Commission says that in excess of $9 billion is available for aid to African countries over the next five years as EU leaders push to see their trade and aid euros used to help solve the migration crisis. The proposal has attracted criticism from African governments and rights groups. 2,814 2, people have uh, drowned since January, while in the past few days, the overall number who have died uh, since the start of 2014 has reached 10,085. That, of course, is according to the UN Agency for Refugees. Now let's get some more insight into this uh, story. Jack Barton now joins us in uh, Brussels. Jack, of course, welcome uh, to the show. Now, as we heard there, the EU is proposing incentives uh, such as trade consequences and, of course, aid to African countries who cooperate. Give us some more insight into these incentives and, of course, the cost implications to the EU. Well, at the moment, this is very much the European Commission uh, spelling out a policy proposal of objectives to the European Parliament, a Parliament that at some point would have to approve this policy if it gains momentum. And at this point, that's still a big if. Uh, at the heart of it, it is trying to get a number of African countries, five in particular, to accept back citizens that have traveled through irregular routes to Europe, people that Europe considers to be illegal immigrants or illegal migrants. Nine billion, you mentioned it, more than nine billion in incentives to uh, encourage people to remain in those countries, also to encourage governments to take people back. But again, no real detail on how that money would be used or how those goals would be achieved. Also an element of coercion, though, the European Union being the biggest trading partner with Africa, also the biggest provider of financial assistance. And the European Commission certainly indicating it could perhaps curb or withdraw some of that aid or and or trade uh, to try and encourage those countries to get on board the program. So it's not just African uh, governments that have been criticizing this. We've also already heard from some parliamentarians Perhaps this is a, there's a patronizing element to this. It's definitely a carrot and stick approach. Nonetheless, migration is such a burning issue here. It is still possible that these proposals could gain traction. Mm. Now, the EU actually negotiated a similar deal with Turkey, uh, offering the country financial and diplomatic concessions. Uh, it has been criticized by human uh, rights uh, groups. How successful has that Turkey deal been? Well, the fact that the migration flows have really shifted from Turkey back to North Africa in the eyes of the European Commission shows that that policy is a success. And the, uh, the Deputy President, Franz Timmerman, held that policy up today saying we can replicate this in this new policy. But, it, you know, many people say that doesn't really stand up. One, Africa is a continent with many countries. Turkey is a single country that has a land bridge to Europe. Some argue it is geographically within Europe. Uh, even the people traveling by boats, it's only a few kilometers to some of those Greek islands. So, uh, and all. Oh, looks like we've uh, lost uh, Jack uh, there.